Hi, I'm Roger Blum with Cruise and Port Advisors, and I'd like to welcome you back to our take on cruise with Roger and... Shannon! I'm Shannon McKee of Access Cruise, and welcome back to our take on cruise. It's good to see everyone back, and we are here to talk about some current events. Well, first of all, I'm back with you. Last week, it was a split you. edition, because while you were slaving away here, <laughs> working for your clients, <laughs> making sure they were successful, I was down in Santo Domingo drinking mojitos and actually it was a great conference. Well, I, I saw Claudine said that, you know, what she loved most was the parties, but you know, <laughs> FCCA is known for throwing a good party, I have to say. But it, it was a great um, <laughs> conference. I mentioned there was a great turnout from cruise executives, um, from other industry stakeholders, um, but it was really interesting. Michael Bailey, uh, who everybody knows, the president of Royal, uh, he was kind of recapping the last two and a half years. And you know, he's a funny guy. He said one thing that he learned because the collaboration within the industry with the destinations was fantastic. He said he learned that he actually likes people from the other cruise lines. Wow. But he said that's all over now. <laughs> Everyone we're being back we're back to being competitors. <laughs> So it was a good conference and you learned a lot. It was good. Um, there was a lot of talk about the America's Cruise Task Force that was created yeah. during um, COVID and continuing it. And this is going to continue because he leads that, right? He leads it from the cruise side. Right. Uh, the Prime Minister of uh, Barbados was leading it uh, from the uh, destination side. But they're going to focus on other things right now, such as employment. The goal is to bring more Caribbean nationals on board the ship. Just in the last few months, over 800 Barbadians have gotten jobs on cruise ships. So That's there's a real terrific. focus on bringing more Caribbean nationals on board and also procurement, bringing more supplies and more products from the Caribbean on board the ships. You know, I think that's an important topic. Uh, you hear that again and again and again. I know that some of our destinations that we work with, they're really struggling with the human resources element and the manpower and getting enough guides and drivers, but the cruise ships are in the same predicament. They're also having that difficulty of getting enough crew on board. So I think that's a great effort put out by the, the task force. And uh, you and I will probably agree that working on board is a great experience. Um, some people do it for just a short period of time and then they go back and then they take that experience on to hospitality and other areas. Some people fall in love with it and do it for other. Some people just kind of meet their spouses and here we are. <laughs> not not together. No, no, we're different spouses, <laughs> you know, well, different ships. We were like two ships passing in the night. Is that what it is? That's what it was. <laughs> That's true. We both met our spouses on board. And how many years is it now for you and Marie? Uh, our 27th anniversary is coming up in a couple of weeks. Wow. And John and I's 18th anniversary is coming up in about a month. You youngins. I know. We're the youngins. But you know what else I saw is, that, you know, I was talking about the fam trip that we took to Hawaii. And then Linda Vasquez, also of Access Cruise, she escorted a fam trip to Haifa Port. But I was just reading the trades and I see that this is fam trip season because we have Denmark that just had a fam trip. We also had Canada, New England. We had Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I know there was one to Qatar. And Claudine, I think right now, or is just maybe finishing up yeah. in Reggio Calabria with another fam trip. So these destinations are really taking your advice and is my advice. Right? Well, you're you're preaching this all the time, but I, I am, I, I am I'm converted. <laughs> the best way for people to experience your destination is get them there. Yeah. So I'm I'm so happy that the cruise lines are able to get out again and start experiencing these destinations firsthand once again. Yep. And the last bit of just current events is last week, many of you read, was the last cruise of the Carnival Ecstasy. Well, I actually was the first hotel manager on there. Really? I took the ship from the shipyard. So even though I didn't get to see the ship on board last week, I just pa I passed it here in Miami. Uh, Mickey Arison posted a picture on his Insta page of the two of us together on the inaugural of the Ecstasy. So I hit the big time. You're Instagram famous, huh? Uh, for 24 hours. I didn't get to see it, but for 24 hours, I was famous. Wow. Did he tag our take on cruise? Unfortunately not. So, you know, anyone who wants to post stuff, ta tag our take on cruise until we see you next week. All right. And I'm gonna, we're going to write to Mickey. We should tag Mickey on this one. We will tag Mickey. So we will help him, his popularity. Sounds good. See you next week. Bye. Bye.